Come on, Wes, you gotta do this. Okay, so you're frustrated with all your losses in bingo. I get it. Let me guide you to victory. I will first show you the wrong moves this guy made. Then I will explain to you what are the right things to do to increase your chances of winning in bingo. Pay attention to above the number balls. What happened? The word slow appeared. What that means is he was too slow in selecting his number on the bingo sheet that was called. The slower you are in picking your numbers that were called, the lower amount of points you will get. Okay, the last thing he did wrong that I noticed. Pay attention to the right hand side of the point display again. What do you notice? He lost about quadruple amount of points he did when he picked the wrong number. The reason for that is he did something called false bingo. Well, false bingo is calling bingo when you don't have bingo. The game detects that and penalizes you for it. Now that I pointed out what he did wrong, let me give you some tips to help you win in Bingo Clash. Okay, for starters, let's go over the rules of Bingo Clash. Players are assigned a game board with a random assortment of numbers. When the numbers are called, you tap on a number to claim the spot. Numbers are called every few seconds. Once you have five in a row, now you can call Bingo. Now for the twist of rules added to this bingo and pocket 7 game that makes it different than your standard bingo. Every time you correctly dial a number call, you build up your power up meter. Every time your power up meter is filled, the game gives you a power up. You can only hold up to two power ups at a time. Power ups are tied to your speed. So the faster you select the right number, the quicker you will gain a power up. Getting one bingo doesn't mean you win the game. Not even five bingos will win you the game. The game is over either when you fill the board up with bingos, also called a full house, or the time runs out. Now for the power ups. The G power up gives you the choice of three available numbers on your board. The fourth option will give you a random number from your board. The 2x power up. This power up multiplies your score. The diamond dial power up. This power up is the wild card out of all the power ups in the game. You can select any spot on the board and claim it when you get this power up. We got the rules out the way. Now let's go over the tips. Number one, avoid premature bingos, aka false bingo. False bingos cost you 120 points off your score. This adds up, so you want to be careful of not getting any false bingos. Number two, avoid incorrect dobs. Force dobs will cost you 30 points. All of this adds up and can cost you the game. Number three, be a faster and more accurate dobber. Remember, the faster you are, the maximum points you will get from each dob. Dob speeds are broken up into three levels of speeds and the points given for them. Slow gives you 151 points. Fast gives you 159 points and up. Excellent gives you 180 points. So keep in mind, you want to always aim to get excellent speed. Number four, save your bingos until close to the end of the game. Mainly because you gain more points, especially if you combine your bingos with the 2x power up. Number five, power up management. Make sure you don't use all your power up so fast before the end of the game. I've noticed that it's best to use at least one of them at a time and save one for the last 30 to 15 seconds of the game. The reason why it's good to use at least one is if you don't, then your power up slot will remain full and even if you fill up your meter, the game won't give you any more power ups until you have a slot free. Number six, remember the board. What this means is remember the colors that correlate with the letters B for red, I for blue, N for pink. G for orange and O for green. Once you have this remembered, then you should remember what section of the board each letter and color are on. That way, when a number is called, you're already aware by second nature where to place your hand without completely looking, using a combination of intuition and of course your vision where the number is at. Once a number coupled with a letter is called, you'd automatically block your sights on the other section. Number seven, focus on the corners of the board first, then work your way in the middle. As the game progresses, it will become more clear where your best chances for bingo are because two or more bingos at the same time will give you bonus points. The corners are perfect opportunities to get those simultaneous bingos. In a perfect world, a corner gives you four bingos at once, covering a row, column, a diagonal line, and a bingo for all four corners. 
Make sure you really focus, especially in the last 30 seconds of the game. Try your best to combine bang. Notice in the last 15 seconds. There's times when the game just doesn't want to call your numbers. So it's best to use that time to start calling the bingos that you saved up. Now, with all the tips that I gave you, do you think you're ready to show them who's boss in bingo clash? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Thanks for all your help, Wes. Let's see if all of the tips this guy Wes gave me gives me this win. I-22. I-21. B-40. Okay. G-59. I-30. Okay. Let's go. Come on, I got this. I know I got this. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Thank you, Wes. Thank you. See what I said? If you listen to your boy Wes, you'll be good to go. Be the man, Wes. I'm definitely gonna continue to play this game. I'm not gonna uninstall it. Thanks a lot. I hope all you people out there listen to your boy Wes as well. And you'll be good to go. All you gotta do is follow my tips. And you'll be beating everybody on Bingo Clash.